Digital and computed radiography systems bring the radiology department major advances in imaging opportunities and quality care. DR and CR systems have their own unique quality control parameters that need to be monitored. Both involve capturing the image in a digitized format. With computed radiography, the process involves the temporary acquisition and storage of image on a phosphor plate followed by the transfer of the image information into a computer. With digital radiography, the image is captured directly in a digital format by an array of radiation detector elements. Either technology can then be digitally manipulated to be shown on a monitor. Since this is significantly different than conventional film imaging, different quality control parameters need to be monitored. The three of greatest interest are the MTF, NPS, and DQE. What are these parameters and what do they monitor? The modulation transfer function is basically a measure of the extent of image degradation which a piece of imaging processing equipment might infer on an image passing through it. The image is a relationship between the contrast of signal and a specific frequency that is used to describe resolution. It can be expressed graphically. This can be measured by determining either the PSF or the ESF. MTF is useful in determining how the overall performance of a radiological system is affected by the behavior of specific components. MTF can actually be considered to be a measure of the ability of an imaging system to handle contrast and modulation as a function of spatial frequency. So the greater the MTF at high spatial frequencies, the more capable the system is of showing fine detail. Once the MTF is determined, it is relatively simple to determine the DQE and the NPS. GAMEX, in cooperation with several noted medical physicists and radiologists, developed a package of hardware and software for the easy measurement and calculation of MTF and other key calculations as part of an NIH grant. Initially, users take images using the GAMEX Edge tool and then transfer them to the software. Users can work with either a 5 degree or 7 degree mask. Once images are obtained, they are exported to the Edge Tool software. The images are loaded into a file where they can be analyzed at any time. The Edge Tool software now allows users to easily generate MTF, DQE, and NPS data and to analyze it. Setup of the software is quick and easy as shown below. When the software is opened, you will see a screen like the one shown. Users will open the Imager section and select the system they are using. Note in this example we have the Fujifilm company shown, but other manufacturer systems can be easily added. Following that, they will open the Study section beneath it and select the images they want to work with. Because we're going to be interested in obtaining values for the MTF, DQE, and NPS, we will select the thumbnail images where the edge tool is shown in two of them plus a noise field blank image. Note that the images can be drag and dropped into the test frame. Next, we'll select a region of interest for the analysis. This is easily done with the cursor. Select the ROI shape on the right of the image. Then place the cursor in the area where you're interested in measuring and press the left button. Drag the resulting box until it covers the area of interest. Repeat this in each of the other images. Next, press the MTF icon for each of the two images. 
Select the appropriate box, horizontal or vertical. At that point, the MTF has been calculated and can be obtained by selecting the Reports button if desired. If the NPS is desired, press the NPS button in the third panel. Because it is performing calculations, it may take a few seconds to open. When the screen opens, select the panel where you want the DQE graph to appear. In this case, it will be in panel 4. You may use either the vertical or horizontal MTF and NPS curves for the DQE calculation. After you select the Calculate key, go to the Report button to see the results. You will see the MTF graphs, horizontal and vertical, the NPS, and finally the DQE all graphed out. If you want to print graphs, go to the File key and select Print. The Edge tool and corresponding software make the quality control aspect of DR and CR systems much easier to perform. They provide users with the tools necessary to generate comparative studies over time.